So I'm officially quarantined at home, like most of you. Uh, and I decided that since I have absolutely nothing to do, I'm going to start posting videos of the recipes that I'm making at home and hopefully give you some inspiration or ideas. Today, what I'm going to make is uh, sort of like a sweet and savory braised short ribs. So I have a pound of short ribs right here and I'm going to season them with salt and pepper. Make sure you just season all sides. Right now I'm trying to boost my immune system, so I'm trying to use anything that's uh, anti-inflammatory and turmeric's one of those things. And then I also have some fresh ginger that I'm gonna put in the stew. I have some garlic. And I wanna give a shout out to my roommate uh, because <laughs> I was just cleaning out the fridge, she left. Um, and I found like all this random stuff that I know is gonna go bad. So there's uh, cilantro, some onion, and then like a random orange, which I figured I can just throw in because it's sweet. Just gonna use a neutral flavored oil. This is grapeseed oil, but like vegetable oil would work. And start it going. So my short ribs are nice golden brown on all sides. Right now, I'm just gonna drop them into my broth, which is simmering. I'm gonna get rid of most of this oil because I don't want it to come out greasy. And then in this same pan, I'm just gonna add my veggies real quick. A thumb size piece of ginger, fresh ginger. If you don't have fresh ginger, just use powdered ginger. It's fine. I just prefer the flavor of fresh. And it's going face down in the pan. I'm gonna half my garlic. Same, face down on the pan. And let me get a pepper real quick. Pepper went. Pepper. Got my pepper. It was in my room. I don't know why. And I'm just gonna use half of this pepper. So just give everything a nice toss in the pan until it gets aromatic. And I'm gonna add them into my broth now. And everything's just going straight in. This is some random cilantro and basil I found in my fridge. I didn't want to throw it out. So I'm just going to throw the whole thing in here. If you're in Puerto Rico, you probably have recao. That works too. I'm going to take the orange and just squeeze it. And like I said, this is a really good recipe to do a fridge clean out. Um, so if you have like pineapple juice or orange juice, you can use that too. I have some liquid aminos over here. This is kind of like soy sauce. If you don't have this, just use soy sauce. And this gives it like a really like deep savoriness. And I'm also adding sriracha for a little spiciness. I'm just going to add a little bit in the beginning. And then I'll taste it again at the end because I don't want it to get too spicy. And there you go. So all the veggies are in. Beef is in, uh, it's boiling. I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer and I'll probably check it again in like one or two hours. And what I'm looking for is for like the meat to fall off the bone. These short ribs have been simmering for about two and a half hours. They're getting to the point I wanted them. Like the chicken broth has reduced a good amount and it's starting to thicken a little bit. They're really tender right now. So I'm just gonna take them out, put them on a plate and shred them. And I'm gonna strain this liquid and I'm gonna add some fresh veggies to it as well. So I'm just gonna use a lid to strain it into a different pot. Try to get most of the large solids out. And 
bring this back up. And the short ribs are literally falling off the bone, which is what I wanted. And I'm just gonna shred them. And now, straight into the pot. Now that this is shredded and it's pretty much reduced to where I want it, I'm just gonna check for flavor. Mm. The spice is good, but you want it to have a good balance of sweet and salty. So if you want it sweeter, you can add some pineapple juice or I have some I have some more orange juice here. I'm just going to add a little bit more orange juice, which is good because it adds a little sweetness and acidity. And then I'm going to finish it with some toasted sesame oil, which adds a little nuttiness to it and a little like depth and complexity of flavor. Well, a little bit goes a long way, so just add a little stream. Stew's ready to go. And so now I'm going to do all the fixings right here. I have an egg and I have some water bo boiling. Um, I'm going to set my timer for five minutes and 45 seconds. And that'll give you a perfectly soft boiled egg. Egg's done. I'm going to pull it out. So just tap it lightly all around the sides and try to grab this that it has and it should come off pretty easily if it's not just run it under water while you're doing it that should help a lot here we have the egg and you can see it's still pretty soft sink that on the side and I have some water simmering right now I'm gonna add some salt and I have some chopped broccoli here I'm just gonna cook the broccoli until I poke it with a knife and it goes in and out easily. Broccoli's ready. Just gonna take it out with a spoon, just straight into my bowl. Drain the water. Same pot, still hot. Make sure all that water evaporates. I'm just gonna do a little stream of grapeseed oil and a little stream of sesame oil for flavor. And then I have some fretted cabbage right here. A little bit of salt. And I'll just do a light saute. I don't want them to get too soft. I want them still nice and crunchy. Lots of fiber. Right into my serving bowl. Now, it's all coming together. Okay, so I have my beef simmering back here. I'm gonna go straight on top of my veggies with this. And this is sort of my healthy version of ramen. So I have some fresh chopped cilantro right here. And my poached egg right on top. I'm just going to do one more little stream of sesame oil. And there you go. I hope you guys make this recipe at home or if not, you find inspiration. And if you have any questions, just message me on the comments below. I have nothing to do, so I'll try to respond to everything. I hope it's helpful, you like it, and happy quarantine. <laughs>